Welcome to another Video Guru Video Maker tutorial. Today we're going to look outside the Video Guru app and look at utilizing alternative apps and other free tools that will help you experiment and make your projects unique. Whether you are creating an educational video, vlogging about your life, or maybe creating a music video for your friends, you may not always have the videos or photos you need. Stock Pixels is a great app where you can get stock photography and stock videos for download. They have some very high quality stuff and a great user base. The archive of material that they have for download for free is uh, seemingly endless from sceneries, uh, still lifes, time lapse. Let's look up some uh, abstract videos. Very simple platform, and if you wait over a video long enough, it will give you a preview. I'm going to select this one right here. Looks like some suspended paint in some liquid. And we're going to download the high quality HD version. Then we will switch back over to Video Guru. There's our video. And we will import our ink blobs. There we go. Easy enough. Let's get to editing. Let's say stock footage is not the way you want to go. You want to be a little bit more original, a little bit more creative and you want to create your own content. Pixeloop is a great way to bring still photos to life. Let me show you some examples. Here's a Fukawi album cover, had a nice white background, and I brought it to life with some sky. Once you've played with your image, you can export it as a GIF or a video. A video you could import into Video Guru. Let's play with another example. Here you see a stock photo of the moon that I took from the Pixel Loop app, and I put some elements over it. I used some water, some fireworks in the background, and some uh, leaking water to make it look like the there's a hole in the moon. Let's uh, let's change this firework one to something else. They've got a whole bunch of stuff you can overlay right on top of your videos or still photos, sorry, to make your still photos into videos. See, isn't that beautiful? Let me give you uh, one more example. You can see here they have a whole bunch of stock images. We're actually going to go play with one of their demos. Here you see just a normal couple walking on the beach. They've put a little sky effect in. But we can also pick the path and show parts of the image that we want to move. And we can also pin and lock other points so those parts of the image don't move. So we could make it look like there's water washing up on the beach as the sky zooms past us in the distance. We can also freeze parts of the image so these will be locked. I'm just being real quick to give you a, a real, real quick example. You can spend a little bit more time on these if you're doing something. Now let's zoom in and you can see the water is kind of moving past them. And this was just a regular photo to begin with. Nothing special. But now it's a video and it's brought to life. Let's play around with the sky a little bit. See if we can find a, a better sky or if this demo has picked the best one. It kind of looks like they're in the desert there. Eh, maybe they made a good selection.
Yeah, let's undo everything and uh, let's see if we can enhance this video with some elements. Oh, there we go. I think we're making this a whole lot better now. What kind of uh, honeymoon would it be without some animals just chilling on the beach? An oversized frog. I don't know, is that a llama or a donkey or a deer? And uh, a really huge uh, hedgehog or porcupine. There we go. Thank you for watching. If this was helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I've got a few more tips and tricks that I'd like to share. And if you have any questions or requests, please leave a comment below. I'll see you soon and thanks again.